Hi, my name is Jenta Sunath from QA Training. This is part of a series of videos on how to use Excel more efficiently. This particular video relates to the trace error tool, especially useful when you are confronted with an error in an Excel spreadsheet. Let's, let me open an Excel spreadsheet to demonstrate how the trace error tool works. For example, in my current spreadsheet, you'll notice an error in cell C1. If I select cell C1 and if I want to determine what's causing the error in C1, I could trace error and trace error should point to the cell that's causing the problem in C1. Now, in order to do this, I need to visit the formula tab in my ribbon, then the formula auditing group and look for error checking. If I click on the arrow next to error checking, I'll, sh I'll be able to locate trace error. As I click on the trace error tool, trace error will then point to the problem cell. And in our example, it's pointing to cell I8. Now I8 has a div error message. Now the div error message is what's causing the issue in cell C1. So if I find the solution to this div error message in I8, I should find the solution to my div error message in C1. Now, notice the little warning sign that pops up next to the div error message in I8. If I hover over the warning sign, that will then prompt and tell me what's going on in cell I8. It says the formula of function used is dividing by zero or empty cells. In cell I8, we're trying to calculate the average. And generally, when you're calculating the average of a set of values, you're going to be dividing. And in this example, it's dividing by empty cells. And we know with an Excel, we cannot divide by empty cells or cannot divide by zero. So to fix the problem, if I populate cells D8, E8, F8 and G8 with some values, that then calculates the average of those values which should fix the problem in I8. And if the problem in I8 is fixed, then its dependent cell C1 should be fixed too. So if I go to my formula tab again, formula auditing group and remove arrows, go to cell D8 and populate it with a random number. So just a random value in there. And as I populate another value in quarter two, quarter three, and then finally quarter four, as I populate those cells with values, notice the average calculation in I8. And because the average is now calculated in I8, I should have a calculation in C1. So this is how you could use the trace error tool to identify the root of the problem, fix the root, and then that should help you solve the error in your existing cell. Hope you found this video useful and could use them to trace errors within your Excel spreadsheet.